I started off here as a volunteer and uh, I did it on the Thursday afternoon with Clem, which was amazing to be with him. Um, but after a while, I, somebody said to me, they used to do it, but they felt that they could be better used somewhere else. And so I started to think along those lines. And then I was asked if I would help with the running of it. This was in February. Um, so I said, well, I'll think about it. Um, but, and I said, oh, yeah, I'll give it a try. And so I started and then we had lockdown. So we had two months or more uh, with no shop open, but that gave a good chance to go through all the stock. And since then, we've got lots of new products. Meg's retired and coming into it as well. So we both work together on this, which is amazing. Um, and, but, you know, the success of it, if it is at the moment, is because of the team that we have. And that's all the people behind the scenes who encourage us and do things, and also all the volunteers who are very helpful and pleasant to the staff. Well, predominantly, I do the window displays and display the different products around the shop and hang things from ceilings and stuff. I like the handmade stuff that's made. Um, lots of people in the church are making things now which we sell in the shop. So we're really promoting the handmade locally. I particularly like these that Jane make, which are the stockings. They are absolutely brilliant. Um, these are made from a pair of jeans. And she's such a brilliant seamstress. She makes these bowl covers as well. Um, where you put your porridge or your soup in a bowl and then you pop it in the microwave. It, they're really fantastic. Um, all my nieces have got them. Xander's got one, my dad's got one, we've got one. They're just amazing things and they can wash in the washing machine and they're brilliant for all ages for presents, especially young people at uni who use the microwave a lot. I come from a farm originally and I remember as a child being given one of these for Christmas, not as lovely as this, and a cardboard box and I spent hours reversing it in and out of my imaginary barn and so that's what it means to me, it means a great deal. There's a huge need in, in Wantage, not just with um, adults with learning difficulties because they, they pop in and say hello and they, they have quite established relationships with the volunteers but also new customers that we've had coming in um, who often just lonely and just want to chat and it's lovely just sharing uh, stories with them and getting to know them really so that's a massive massive need. At the end of the day it's not just for getting sales but it does bring people in and it brings people in who aren't Christians and they're the people we can talk to and be friends so I think at the end of the day the main thing that we have to be as Christians in this shop is loving people and we must love them to pieces because that's what Jesus said we should do.